G'day, let's play some more Hearts of Iron 4 as the German Lone Wolves. So we're about to attack Italy. Let's just go ahead and declare on them now before France and Britain do anything else. Declare on Mussolini. Go ahead. The Germans have declared on Italy. Okay, let's take us down to speed 4. Now in February we're going to declare on Hungary as well because they've attacked somebody who's joined the Allies. Czechoslovakia. Access from France? No. Access from the UK? No. Airwings with no missions, that would be the guy we just deployed. He can go to the Alps and do close air support. Wasn't who I was expecting, actually. Fighters are in Germany. Attack bombers should probably go to the Alps as well. And do close air support. Where's this guy? All right. He, you know, they can all go to the Alps for now. Pull them off after. All right, need to beat France through here, otherwise we're screwed. We'll be able to take the eastern end, but we want to get the victory points for taking the big cities. Should get our tanks to do it, but they need to be over there ready for the next little war. And when do we finish Fate of Czechoslovakia? Let's call that two months. Sometime in March. Prepares for great struggle. The Hungarians are a proud people. About to die. Right. Better equipment. Definitely go for weapons too. We have a massive freaking surplus. Hmm. Alright. South Africa. No. Czechoslovakia. No. I wish this would tell you more about how much you'll get compared to the other people they're at war with. Oh, should be able to push down pretty quickly. I don't know why this isn't going too well. What is Gerd? I did say that. He's an eight. He has charismatic recovery rate. Thorough planner, defensive doctrine, defensive doctrine, and just skill eight. Where's this dude? Skill seven with river crossings. Cool. Forests, Panzer Leader, and Trickster that they start with. Alright. We are angered by Hungarian posturing, because it's the 11th of February. Let's try and take Budapest before anyone else can. Let's go ahead and declare war. And go for it. Alright, let's go screw with Hungary. I'm pretty sure, uh, advancing on Sarajevo. It's kind of weird. How does that work? Italian-Yugoslavian war. Hungarian Czechoslovakian war. They must have done that and I didn't notice. Alright, whatever. Tanks should be able to get through pretty quickly, I imagine. Why? Why? It's supposed to all be on there. Weird. Alright, we're in Venice. Now pushing both directions. We go and grab these 59, tell them to come down here, and they should work a little better together. War goal is on Yugoslavia. Yeah, they're in the Allies though, so we don't want to do that ourselves. Wish the Hungarians would go take Sarajevo. There goes Yugoslavia. So, that works for us. Most of it went to Italy. What does Italy actually have? Oh, he has a lot. Alright. Junkers, Cannon and Virgil. 44 is way too far ahead of time, so we're going to start making them. Should probably start pushing on better fighters as well. Improved artillery upgrade comes next. Uh, we are making Kaz. So, switch this out for Cannon and Virgil. Fighters and Tack Bombers. Got strategic Bomber Overload. The rest of these, not so good. Stopping on the Italians there. We've almost cut the French off. We need to make sure that we take this particular province, or we can't get past. And that's where most of the Italians seem to be. Why 
are you all standing up there? Still Italians heading across this way. Well, if we can get surrounded in here. Where are the French forts over here? They are just there. And the Italian fort in Turin. All right. So we still can't really get around the Maginot line because they've got it against the Italians there as well. A lot weaker though. How are we not winning this? Well, it is actually Italy. So let's go ahead. Grab our guys in the Alps. Send them. I really hate that. If you're selecting airplanes, automatically change to the right map mode. All right, the bombers can reach the Kaz can come down here and do Italy. Fighters can come over here and then do Italy. They're all doing the right missions. All right, wandering down through old Yugoslavia. Looks like they have attached onto this war as well. Why are these guys not actually moving? The other one's turned on that disappeared. Alright, now they'll go do their thing. <clears throat> and then head all the way down. Damn it. Forget it. They're aggressive. They'll figure out what I'm telling them to do. If we could take a look in Italy, I don't think they're reaching. They're not. It doesn't matter too much. Rocket artillery, possibly. It's almost time for this. Uh, air though, tactical bomber. Let's get the next Junkers out. Achtung, Achtzig R. Have we squeezed past here yet? Sort of. Looks like France doesn't want to do a river crossing there. Fate of Czechoslovakia. Okay, second Vienna reward does whatever. Alliance with Italy, I uh, don't really think so. <clears throat> we don't want to befriend anyone. Poland doesn't exist, so nothing there means anything anymore. We just did that to get down there. So if we start demanding Yugoslavia, we're at peace with them. Yugoslavia exists. One of the following must be true. We're at peace with them. They have to own Slovenia. Okay. Or it doesn't exist. No. no. What will be... The next most useful anti common turn completely useless. Friending China or Japan are useless to us. Just go for the trade interdiction. Get that done and out of the way. The Czechs resist. Gain claims on Moravia and Bohemia. And gain the war goal on them. Unfortunate, but I guess not particularly surprising. Looks like it doesn't actually expire either. Hmm. Foreign claims. Well, Bohemia obviously belongs to us. We have Vojvodina. Now I wonder how much of this we'll have to give up to the Allies. We actually had guys go down there and take all that. That's cool. Haven't cut off the poms yet. Need to get through here. You are definitely going the wrong way. Although, taking Florence would be a good idea. It's only worth three victory points. Spezia wasn't worth much. Damn. Genoa's worth ten. Well, Rome's worth forty. Naples is worth twenty. So as long as we can get them... And we're now making our medium tanks. Awesome. Show me tanks. Making a lot of medium tanks. And we have decent surplus on them. So artillery and support equipment. It's alright. Manpower's looking good. And we're taking out a lot of this looks like the Allies didn't land many guys. Hmm. Oh, these guys 
have actually finished everything over there. Alright, finish off the Hungarian War, and then we'll be laughing. Almost taking their capital. Well, here's the guys who are already across the river, would be probably kind of a good idea. Okay. Italian region runs all the way down, so we'll keep all the planes down here. Resistance in Venice. Let's try and keep them as happy as we can. Hopefully, I'm not sure exactly how this works. Hopefully we won't have to give any of Yugoslavia up in the peace deal. Because they're not our enemy, so allies shouldn't be able to demand them. Not sure. How are we... No, that's a lot of guys. Alright, this is going to be tricky, especially when we've only got 19 guys down there. <clears throat> but this front should fold pretty soon. And then they should automatically redeploy over there. 130 divisions. Yeah. Kind of painful. But the sooner this is done, the better. Yeah, let's just grab these guys and get started on helping them out. Resistance, don't care. Insufficient resources, need a lot of tungsten. That is fair enough. Portugal, stay neutral. Let's go and grab them. They'll intercept our trade convoys going through the English Channel. But we've got Rome. Alright, support weapons. It is 1940. We want better mountaineers. How close are Italy? That's not what I was looking for. Italy. 39. Long way to go. Probably going to have to take Palermo and Naples. Or Naples and Taranto. And probably, what's that? Messina. You see a lot of French moving around. They're up to 41.6. They've done their... can't remember what the thing is. One that gives them the boost. <coughs> mm. Alright. He's got a lot less guys than us, but he's in the alliance. Hey, there we go. Which one's this? Hungary. Hungary and Yugoslavia. Really? Seems a little weird, but okay. Czechoslovakia and France are going to take pieces. If we leave off Macedonia, we want a border with them. Hmm. I don't know. Montenegro. Take Trans Danubia. Ignore Slovakia. Let's ignore that little one. That will work for that one. Alright, end our turn there. France have points, but they're not doing anything. We could satellite them, but I don't want to do any satellites or any of that this time. Uh, costs way too much. What Negro costs too much. Macedonia, we can do. Or if we do nothing, we get 87. So we're going to pass this round. Nobody took anything. Damn it. Can't finish them off. We have more points than France, but I get the feeling France is going to do something. Satelliting, puppeting, he hopefully won't be able to do. Good. Alright, we can destroy them. No, we're going to risk one more. Looks like they're not gaining much at all. Alright, risk one more. 
He's gaining 20 and we're gaining tons. Uh, oh. uh, it doesn't matter. We won't risk it. End the turn there. Still have more points. But what was the last thing that happened? Changes government to democracy in Hungary. Just there. That's fine. That worked out pretty well for us, I think. 11 states. Yugoslavs and Hungarians are democratic. Tiny little things that don't bother us too much. Yugoslavia is ours, and we now get to stomp on Italy. These guys still have the front up there. So let's cancel that. And just tell them to march straight on Palermo. Find their way through. Punch a hole. Alright, that's looking good except for over there. These guys are probably all coming in as well. And there is horrendous supply down there. So we are going to need to grab, say, most of these guys. Except for Rommels. Stick them around Czechoslovakia. We're going to have to take care of that when we go to war with the Allies. Right, get on that. Alright, need to finish Italy quickly now. Ah, on 27. We've already got Naples. Rolling over them pretty well. It's our interdiction. That's 1940. Let's go for the Fund of Offer. Start getting our nukes working towards them anyway, It'll take a while. No template for the SP or the, wow, crap. That's right, we just got a ton of extra stuff. So what are we actually sinking it into? Mm -hmm. Close air support, then tack bombers. Okay. So let's spend a while thinking about what we're making at the moment. Mozellans go onto them when they finish means actually it's probably some no, no, none of them that had finished um, we need to create a new thing create empty here we go we need armoured with medium tanks here we go armoured with medium SP Medium tank, medium tank, medium SP, medium SP. Massive soft attack, massive breakthrough, high speed. This be like the backbone of our army. We can do whatever we want because we've got 500 army experience. Uh, combat width. They are three. Okay, medium tank with medium SP takes up to 20, which is good. This is a lot of soft attack. I would rather just do ones that save the things we've got. So, SIGs, Recon, Maintenance, and actually not Engineering. Well, they give Defense, so we might need. And they're pretty good across the board. And then we'll save the extra slot for Field Hospital or something like that. These are our... Uh, I don't know. be totally original, call them medium tanks. Give them a better thing. They are going to be our lone wolves. Go ahead and save that. Takes 200 medium tanks, takes some motorized, that would be someone in there using it. Alright, that'll do. And we want to make some of these. So, train 25, and we'll knock the last one off. Alright, 24 of them to be made. Holy crap, yep, now we can build all the way out to Vladivostok. Awesome. That'll be the thing that gave us the claims through here somewhere, I think. Whatever. We'll bring these into mm, the Rhineland. And we're going to give them a new army eventually, so we're going to have to wait for the first one to finish. I'm just going to do... Let's do two of them. Medium priority. What are we missing on these? 
artillery and support equipment. Which would be a problem with the other tanks as well. So... Keep it medium. We could just pump them out. Wait for the war with the Allies to worry about that though. Alright, so shortages. A lot of medium tank shortage as well. Alright, 64 days on the towed artillery. So we're fine there. Support equipment is 6 months still. Medium tanks are a long time. Medium SP are a long time. So we are going to need to... Add... Oh no, it's just because we don't have the build up for that yet. I think we'll leave this as it is. Actually need more light tanks. No we don't. Alright, happy with that. Supply issues down here. It's looking bad, but once the tanks get across we should be okay. This guy's already heading up to Tranto. He'll probably get there first. By five days. And they're looking very bad. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Means they're going to have a lot of issues getting across the strait. Palermo's already fallen to France. It's annoying. Palermo's worth 20, so that is terrible. There we go. Alright, Italy. We've done twice as much as the next person. Hmm. I'd like to sort these bits out. And I'd love to take Piedmont. I need the thing going across there. What if we do it without Istria? Nice to have told you how much you're going to be allowed to do. Really not much. Uh, I don't want to just pass, but we're going to risk it. He has changed the government of Italy. That's fine. Hopefully now, though, we can take Piedmont, Lombardy, and South Tyrol. We can. Also, Albania and Zara. We can. Venice and Istria. Almost. All right, end our turn on there. Oh, that's right. He's got all the lands in Africa. Hmm. Well, we don't want to have to deal with Sardinia later. Sicily would be nice. Let's just end our turn on that for now. France is going to liberate Libya. Liberate to Ethiopia, to Libya, to Libya. That's all good for us. Alright, can we take Istria? We may. Sicily would be overrun if we did it. So let's keep land close to us. Italy takes Emilia Romana from Italy. Sure you do, buddy. A little weird, whatever's going on there. Alright, we take Tuscany. And then... Don't want to deal with anything in Africa. So if we pass on this turn... Italy's taking land from Italy. We could take Sicily and Calabria. Sounded like Albania. I don't think so. Alright, end our turn there. Why is that even an option? We've already taken it. Alright, the Dodecanese. I know they're islands, but I have no idea where they are. Hmm. And then it's Eritrea and Somaliland. I don't see the thing changing. Eritrea and Somaliland are obvious. I guess we can take the Dodecanese. It's over here somewhere, right? Okay, Rhodes. Which will be immediately taken by Turkey when we go to war with them. Although it's a port, so we can take guys over here and hold them up a bit. That could be worth it. And there's no reason not to take these. The better one would be Smileyland. Then we can take this in the next turn. And then they're done. Alright, get 14 states. Italy has become democratic. Republicans. 
And of course we don't have access through them anymore. But we will put tanks on the Dutch border for now. And we'll put these guys... I don't know, we're going to have to split them in half. Armies just get too big. So, next best field marshal is von Kluger. Combat with reduction. Von Kluger will sit down there. Von Rundstedt will sit... You know what? We'll put them on this one. Get them in there. And these guys in the tanks will actually sit on this Belgian border. They will head over there. And yeah, this whole thing over here will be an issue later as well. we'll put our medium tanks there. Netherlands join the Allies. Okay. Failed war goals, Czechoslovakia. Exiled divisions, they should be coming home. Insufficient rubber. We will keep getting from the UK, just because it's easier dealing with them. All right, well, we'll take a short break here. When we come back, we will try and find somebody else we can attack that's not part of the Allies. So thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.